hello guys hope we are all doing well fine and wonderful in today's tutorial video we are looking at how to utilize the boot app as a new or even as an existing driver this is how you can go about the app by going online accepting trip starting and ending trip so this is how you therefore need to go online so you swap it from the left to the right in order to go online so it's loading and we are online so now let's wait for request to troop in so we are waiting for request okay we've gotten a request in here. okay so you can see uh the pickup point which the map can help you with so you always have to set your navigation to google maps or waves but i prefer the google map so you set it to google maps so that anytime you get a request the map will automatically take you there so let's start our car okay so we are on our way going to pick up the passenger so the detail of the trip when you go to the app you can see the person requested for boots not economy or comfort the name of the person and the pick and point that is the location over here you can see if you want to message or call the passenger so we are almost to the pickup point of the passenger so as we are here we can arrive our trip to indicate to the passenger that we are here okay so it seems passenger is coming okay so we are waiting so you can see that the passengers request the price is 19 cities so when you tap on the three dot lines you can see if you want to contact him or her or even cancel or stop new requests from coming so now the passenger is here so we are about to start the trip he hasn't exhausted his waiting time so you can just swap it from the left to the right in order to start the trip so we have successfully started the trip and heading towards our destination so where the palm is we can all see where the palm is so where the palm is when you tap over there in case you need a break you can just tap over there so after this trip both won't give you any request they will take you offline that means you need a break so you can see the google map indication over there or even if you prefer both direction you can even tap on it so let's use the google map as our map
So since we told both we need a break, there isn't any way that they will give us a request. So unless we finish this ride and go online before, we can what? Get a request. So there won't be any incoming request. So Sean B, you meet over here. You can see enable new request. Unless you tap on the enable new request before, you can get a new request. So since we tap on the stop new request, we won't be able to have access to any trip. So when the passenger requests and the passenger wants a stop, this is where you can also add the stop. So beneath the final destination, you can see add stop. So with the add stop, with the add stop, or when you tap on the add stop, you can see you can add stop at the current location, or you want to punch in or enter where the passenger will be making the stop. So that also is very simple to do. This is a master class that you won't get anywhere unless bossy demand. So it depends on each and every trip. So we don't have a fixed amount or a fixed period for, for trips. So it depends on the duration. So the duration depends. So the duration of your trip depends the amount you'll be getting growing a trip. So as we all know, the price was or is 19 cities. But there can be some factors that can affect the price. There can be some factors that can affect the price. Which ones in discount so discount to reduce the price which you've seen and also when you end a trip before the supposed destination it can also make the price to reduce or calm down and finally you using a shorter route or you using a short period to get to the destination so these are some of the factors that affect the price to decrease or reduce. Okay, so we are here at the final destination. Okay, so let's just park the car and end the trip successfully. Okay. So over here you can see the end trip so you just swap it from the left to the right swapping it from the left to the right will indicate to both that you are finally or you at the uh, final destination would want to end the trip over here you can see that the price used to be 19 but because of discount the passenger will be paying only 17 cities so after collecting the 17 cities you confirm the rating helps both to know the kind of passengers they have on their platform so with the ratings you can see from one to five rating so depending on how the passenger behave during the trip you give your star so one two three will be given if the passenger misbehaves. but four and five shows the passenger is very correct so you then confirm the ride 
So if you confirm the ride, that means you waited in the passenger and the trip has been ended. So when you come over here, you can see you pick the person, the price. When you tap on the today's earning, you can see that the person you pick was 19 cities the details of the ride and when you come to the rights also you see full detail of the ride where you pick the passenger and where you drop off the passenger in case you want to call the passenger you also have the option to do so the minutes and the kilometer in which you were able to go before you pick the passenger and finally the po points you got from picking the passenger if you have a campaign bonus it will be reflected we picked three people before we started the trip and now it is four and when you come to the acceptance rate also it gives you the number of people you pick and the hours you are online so this is all that new drivers especially new drivers have to know about the boat app and it will help you and everyone on the platform so you can see that um, the categories are also shown over here thanks once again for watching this video can you like comment and share and if you have any thoughts, leave it in the comment section. Thank you.